Hey everyone and a welcome back to my channel. This video is a full Glitterama coloured ombre video. So I'm going to be using Brilliant White to begin with to create my free edge. So I'm using CJP Monomer. You can use any Monomer with the Glitterama powders. So I'm just coming into my white. As you can see I just wanted to show that I picked it up quite dry because white can usually be quite sticky but I find if you pick glitter armor up slightly on the dry side you get absolutely no stickiness at all. So I've placed it on, blended the there as you can see I'm just blending that out so that there isn't a harsh line where the white ends and then I've pulled it down the tip and it, it has completely covered. I don't even need to come in with a second bead of the white. So I'm then coming in with a Gypsy Rose and I'm going to create the ombre. So I'm picking up a bead of that and I'm just showing the consistency is like an orange peel. I work more on the dry side. Um, that's my personal preference. So I place that on the nail and then I'm pulling it down to create that fade between the purple and the white. If you are using different monomers, you may have to play around with the ratio a little bit. If you're new to Glitter Armour, then have a look through my videos a bit further down. I do have a ratio video up. So check that out. So then as you can see there, I'm just coming in with that next bead, patting it out of the cuticle area before pulling it down over the previous bead. Now I am blending it into white, which it's quite a dark colour over a light colour. So as you can see there, I just dipped into my monomer and cleaned up the white with that with that brush rather than going back in and picking up more white and then needing more purple etc so I was just showing you there that because of how pigmented the colours are I've had to use barely any product so I have a nice thin layer of acrylic so then on the top of that I'm coming in with Shooting Star which is a beautiful fine iridescent and silver glitter or with some iridescent chunky pe chunky diamond shapes I think they are yeah so I'm just placing them in a trail down the nail just spreading them out nice and evenly I will leave a link to the Glitterama website in the description box below so head over to their website and check them out. They have a huge selection of colours at a great price. So I'm just nudging the glitter around until I'm happy with the trail it's created. Just applying a little bit more here. And then I will leave that to set for a few seconds before then coming in with my clear acrylic. So I'm just going to clean off my brush because obviously I've used a glitter. And then I'm coming in and I'm picking up a bead of clear acrylic. So I'm just placing that down, patting out the sides making sure my side walls are nice and even and then pulling it down towards the tip and then I'm coming in with another bead basically doing the same as before you need to make sure that the back of your bead is nicely blended out and then I'm just pulling the front of that bead over the previous bead. Then coming in with a slightly larger bead, sorry, at that cuticle area. And then just leaving the bulk of it there and smoothing the rest over the nail. 
I did then notice that I hadn't fully covered the tip so I just come in with a small bead at the tip area and blend that back. So once that's all fully applied I will pop it to the side for a little while and I basically left it off camera, I went off camera and left it to set. I've then filed, buffed and dusted away all the dust. And yeah, now I'm going to come in and top coat. This is where this beautiful glitter comes to life. So as you can see, it looks one colour over the white and a different colour over the purple. And it really catches the light. It's so hard to pick up on camera, but it's an absolute beautiful glitter. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.